A leather messenger bag I made recently. Now that is amazing. That is so well done. I love, I love the embossing on this. I really want to get into leather working and I, I promise it's not so I can make gear from Final Fantasy in real life. Hello everybody and welcome to Calbus. My name is Lumo and today we're looking at a brand new subreddit. That's right, baby. It is a brand new subreddit. R slash something I made. A subreddit dedicated to crafters and the various things that they craft. And honestly, this feels like it was made for me. Let's just get right into it. I made this three piece upcycled denim dress with eight pairs of old jeans. Now that is stylish. I love the half dress. The half dress is probably one of the best fashion items that you can ever own. And you're rocking it. You are killing it. That is a good choice of shades of blip. I made a lion hat crochet. That is amazing. The eyes on that thing, are, are those resin? Is that a marble? It's catching the light in such a cool way, but like, I just love how big and dangly the mane is. Winterproof cactus. Now that is an amazing stained glass piece. Stained glass is one of those things that I will never like working with, but it is just amazing when it's done so well. That is amazing. You know what else is amazing? Subscribing to Calbus because it gives you videos every single day featuring myself and my good friend Zen. Likewise, liking, commenting, and subscribing is also amazing because it helps us share videos with the rest of the world because the algorithm funny. So do all these funny algorithm actions like comment, subscribe, etc. And let's keep going. My neighbor has cancer and doesn't go out because of COVID. So I made her and her husband the Valentine dessert. That is both a beautiful dessert and a beautiful gesture. I hope they genuinely loved it because that that's hard. It's hard being, and I hate to use the phrase, homestuck because it can really just mess with your head and it affects your relationship. So it's nice that you're helping them, you know, maintain it. I call him Blepomit, the newest vinyl sticker. That looks like a Binding of Isaac character. <laughs> like at the end of the run, when they're all like screwed up beyond any recognition, that's this and I love it. These are little dragons that I crochet. What color should I use to make new dragons? Uh, I was gonna say purple and gold, but you got Spyro down on the bottom left. That's, these are beautiful. These are absolutely like beautiful little guys. Is there an Etsy link? Is there an Etsy link? I swear to God, I will buy these for someone I love. A bulldozer bed I made for my three year old. That's clever. That is clever. Using the uh, the bucket as storage is so good. Likewise, the steps, the little rails, the shelf on top. That's really well done. Just a shame your child supports the police state. I see those Paw Patrol stuff. <laughs> I made this forest spirit. That just looks like a natural BMO, and I love that. I love their little berries and their little mushrooms. I love the little face and the little ears and the little arms and the little everything. They're just little scrunkalinis. Honestly though, putting them on that wooden slab is a really nice presentation touch. I made these tiny baby turtles hatching in a bottle. I mean, that's kind of cool because now they can't get out and get to the ocean. And the fact that you laid those eggs, you made those baby turtles. I think we might need to take you in for some government testing because that's just uh, I'm going to put it politely and say that's a talent that most of us don't possess. But if you're some kind of human turtle hybrid, I'm not going to judge. You know, there aren't any dragons, so you can't be dragonborn. So you got to get that reptile DNA from somewhere. But I don't know this just feels like a cruel thing to do to your children. I'm absurdly proud of this lace shawl I knitted. That is amazing. That's really well done. And they shared the pattern. Okay, that's cool. Apparently it's the Morningstar pattern by Boo Knits. So if you want to make this yourself, you probably can. That is, you should be proud. You should be, you should always be proud of your work, even if it comes out bad, but this came out good. I set stones and coins and sometimes I spend the euros. All of these are beautiful and I feel like the gems kind of overinflates their value a little bit but that's so cool but I have to ask if it's modified is it still legal tender I don't actually know I do wish that we used a primary coin based system though because I would love to carry around jingly janglies in a sack rather than paper money I think jingly janglies are way more fun Gorgeous handmade raven brooch. That is really cool. What are those? What are those gems made out of? Are they resin? Are they plastic? They look, 
I don't want to be mean, they look kind of plasticky, but I love the metal scales for the chest. That's so good. That is so good. I made these coconut pets. <laughs> That's a really niche and interesting hobby. It's, it's kind of like basket weaving, but for your head. So it's basket weaving for basket cases. These are amazing. These are super cool and good on you for making hats out of one of the most difficult edible mediums. Coconut. Octopus made out of fur burl. Considering making a stand for it. That's really well done. Look, people who do physical sculpting are wizards, genies, and necromancers to me because they are able to make completely hard substances look soft. And that is probably one of the most insane things to me. You can see it a lot in old Renaissance, yeah, in old Renaissance sculptures. Like they make the marble look lush. And I think that's insane. Clear water, my oil painting. Really, really well done. That is a very good example of layering. So this is something that you kind of learn with doing 3D shaders, but there is a certain like layer order that you have things in. And it's good that they put the caustics and then like the layer of water on top at a different perspective to kind of show the shift in depth. It's nice. It's good. I think this is my favorite set I've made so far. Preserved ferns in Veronica flowers under resin. That is a really nice backgammon board and genuinely, I think anyone would be happy to own that. So you should be proud that it's yours. You know, you, you did a good job with this and it really shows. People who can work with wood are, again, absolutely insane to me. I can barely understand my own medium. Seeing these people working in mediums I can't even begin to touch or fathom is just amazing. End grain cutting board made from walnut and maple. Again, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm, how do you even go about planning this? This is, again, just super cool to look at. It's beautiful to see, and it's just so, so goddamn cool. I made wooden hairpins in the style of Maleficent. I've been getting really into like accessorizing recently, and whenever I see something like this, it makes me want to grow my hair out to do like fun hair accessories. So I got very short hair, but that is just really well done and really cool. Made a rifle and a half mask out of monster cans. This is her the queen of gamers. <laughs> the top comment is the ammunition is kidney stones. That is, it's really cool. It's really good. Yeah, no, I love that. It's on my front door, but it doesn't stop religious people. No soliciting, except for Girl Scout cookies. You know, this is kind of the, uh, this is the fun thing about having a soundboard with a shotgun sound in it, because you hook it up to a nice speaker, Behind the door, they can't see you. You play the shotgun noise and say, no soliciting. And it gets the point across and you never see them again. And it's also highly illegal. So don't do that. <laughs> don't ever do that. This is a hypothetical story. I made this so people will get distracted while in the bathroom. You are someone who hates power crapping and it shows by your beautiful artistry designed to distract us from modulating our ab muscles to properly speed things up. That's all layered wood. Again, how do you plan this? This is insane to me. This is just ins it's beautiful and it's insane to me. My drawings are gems. Congratulations, you did a good job on this study. Again, physical mediums, I don't understand. But you did such an amazing job capturing the like reflectivity and refraction of gemstones. Like these people are insane to me. They're not human. They are something beyond. I drew a steampunk phoenix. Would that be like a water-based phoenix? I mean, I guess it can be fire-based because steampunk in implies water, which implies steam, which powers steam engines, but just so goddamn cool. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment letting us know you liked it, and share it with a friend who could use a reminder that if you make something, you are so goddamn cool. Uh, if you do want more Calibus, there'll be another video popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you and your cool creations in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.